where I was not a big fan of. In a back area and you can also use the building. It was really, really, really expensive. And we ended up not even going to see oh, that one. Yes. The total just of the basic decoration and venue rental, 14.3 million won. How to live life. to our channel everyone hi <laughs> so when we were like searching we kind of went back and forth if we wanted a wedding planner remember yes yeah um wedding planners are a bit different than in the west so we ended up going with a wedding planner um before we met her we kind of already had an idea of what venue we liked just because we searched so much <laughs> like we started searching in june we met her in july and we literally looked up every every venue, like saw all like read every blog, everything, and we were like, okay, maybe she knows something that we don't know, mm -hmm. knows a venue we don't know. Um, after meeting her, she got like what we were looking for, you know, our requirements, which was outdoor. Um, we think about a hundred and fifty people, and we want a longer hours. Um, because the way green venues are, they typically don't last that long, but we wanted longer hours. And so, yeah, she sent us a list of venues. Mm -hmm. So before we go into the three venues that she sent us, or she sent us four at first, can you tell us a little bit about Korean wedding halls? Because they're the traditional, not really traditional, like the humble one, mm. but the standard wedding venues or in korea they call them wedding halls what are they like like how does it normally operate um wow it's like a visit is it okay if i help you with? yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> so i think most venues are in wedding halls right mm -hmm. what is a wedding hall Wedding hall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a place, indoor wedding place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it just one venue inside? I think they have like more than two or three. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe even more. Even more. It depends big how one. big, mm. you know, the wedding hall is. Mm. So, yeah, it's like placed in, sometimes hotel mm. or they have own like wedding hall just building. A, a, its own building. Its yeah. own building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they have more, more, um, more uh, venues. Uh, more venues. Mm -hmm. Indoor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and then they have a uh, food places. Mm -hmm. No, usually it's buffet. Mm -hmm. So and the 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 hours mm -hmm. of ceremony and the food mm -hmm. is not that long. Mm -hmm. so, How long is the ceremony in a wedding hall? Thirty minutes. Yeah, it's, yeah it, like it doesn't minutes. go over 30 minutes. So I think just like start to including um, ceremony and food, maybe two hours. Yes. Prepar like in excluding the yeah. preparation. Yeah, all the other extra behind the I scenes it's stuff. Hour. It's generally only 30 minutes because they have someone come in right after you. So I don't want to, I'm not, I don't want to say factory like in, in a negative term, but mm -hmm. I don't know another way to explain it. But it it's is efficient. Very efficient. It's like one after another. Boom. This yeah. wedding and then this one and then this, this couple and this couple. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's very efficient. Mm -hmm. So like most venues like, like those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They are not really like customizable. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. So it can be like really efficient because you don't need to worry about worry about like other things, like flower, like flower and literally like, everything. Yeah, literally everything, anything. So it's like what you see in the venue, or what you see is get is what you get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's really easier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But since it's not really customizable, and we want it more like customizable. Yeah. Ones. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so I think we chose not those, not most venues, 
way mm -hmm. or we chose different ones yeah mm -hmm. like longer hour and right. like outdoor mm -hmm. right 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 yeah. yeah 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 so like every venue looks different mm -hmm. and they are done very beautiful i think if you were to get this like those venues like if you were to just make that image mm -hmm. from scratch it would be very expensive yes because they have beautiful flowers they have chandeliers lights mm, light like the whole setup it's very it looks nice they can look very very expensive mm -hmm. but because you cannot even change one single thing it's not expensive mm -hmm. compared to if you were to make it like oh you want different color flowers or you want more lighting here or something mm -hmm. You can't change anything, and in that sense, makes it cheap. Yeah, it makes it cheaper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not cheap. What is it? Not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> um, the second part in America, we, the reception part after the ceremony, which I think the ceremony length is is about the same as in the West, thirty minutes. Maybe if you have like long vows or something, mm -hmm. um, it can go a little bit longer. But I think for the most part, the length of the ceremony is about the same. Now, what happens in the ceremony is a little bit different, but that's for another video. But the length is the same. Mm -hmm. But the second part, we with the reception, is the very big different point in mm -hmm. Korea, minus the venue styling. Um, in the West, it's that's the party. That's where you eat. That's where you do a, possibly a first dance. You cut the cake. You toss the bouquet. You do a performance. People do speeches and people dance. That is where all that stuff happens. And it's all maybe at that venue or a separate venue, but it's just you and your wedding party and your wedding guests. But in Korea, is it like that? Mm. What is the second part? So after the ceremony, what is it like? After, after the ceremony, you usually like you go to the, the play, like food place, mm -hmm. like buffet restaurant mm. and if you go there um they you might have like guests from like another wedding mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah like different wedding home like yeah yeah what is it yeah wedding yeah, wedding, wedding venue home, wedding venue yeah i mean it's in the same building yeah right but from different wedding yeah yeah because like in a wedding hall like men said there's like, can be two or three weddings yes Ha happening at the same time because there's different venues in that building mm -hmm. and even so right 30 minutes for ceremony right after that there's <laughs> another ceremony like yeah, it's you. literally <laughs> next like if you walk in in the really big wedding halls they have like almost like you're at an airport they have names and times mm. yeah, yeah, yeah yeah it's like boom 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 so you just find the name the time and it's like venue a mm -hmm. and then like literally right after so even you have people from or an earlier time, a later time, or people from the venue B and C mm -hmm. are all in this big buffet. Yeah. Place. So, yeah, like I said, it's very efficient. <laughs> very efficient. Yes. <laughs> it's very, very efficient. efficient. So, yeah. what do the bride and groom do after the ceremony? Some people they mm -hmm. do like pebek. Uh huh. It's uh -huh. like a traditional Korean wedding style. Oh, like ceremony. Ceremony. Mm -hmm. Wedding ceremony. Mm -hmm. Like you go to this place and you wear hanbok mm. and your parents wear hanbok mm. and then you know they bow and give mm -hmm. gift I think. So do they eat with their guests? Uh no, I don't mm. think so. Yeah. They after I that so. they come out and they say hi mm -hmm. and then they just eat there uh, with family. In back in the room yeah. that they did their little ceremony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they don't eat with the guests after the little ceremony they come out and they say hi yeah. and then they just go around and they try to find their people yeah. i think if it's a really big one they kind of block off they don't block off but they designate an area like the workers will be like oh if you're from this wedding hall a per se it sit over here mm. that way it's easier for the bride and groom to find you when they come and say hi but essentially, you're not required to sit there. You can sit anywhere. Yeah, yeah. And you just find an open seat. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you if you go to a smaller wedding hall that only has one venue, then it almost feels like it's only your guests. Yeah. And then, obviously, 30 minutes later, the next 
mm-hmm. you know, like this or so and so. For the most part, I think most wedding halls have like two venues, mm-hmm. like two, and then there could be more. Yes. So, since with all of that taken into account, we did not really want the second part was the main concern. Not necessarily the first part, like the non-customizable. I'm I'm not a fan, but I think it's very efficient and like way less stressful. You don't have to think of anything. It's already beautifully made. You know exactly how it's going to look mm-hmm. on the way they like it's not going to change. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about anything. But the second part, I'm not a fan of. We are not going to do the Korean ceremony. So it would just be a little bit weird for us. What do we do afterwards? Like our friends are going to go just eat and then... Because of how that style is, people just leave when they want, and I wanted a party. Like, I wanted a celebration. I think it's a very American thing. Yeah, yeah. I know, one thing I know, mm. is like American, they good at partying. <laughs> 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 In my opinion. So, that was a big requirement, is we wanted to be able to have longer hours so we can party. So, um, we're going to see... We're going to show you three venues that we went to. We're not going to say any names. Mm. Um, our wedding planner gave us four options. Two of them we already knew. And actually out of those two, one of them was the one that we thought we would want. Mm-hmm. The third one we also knew, but it was really, really, really expensive. And we ended up not even going to see oh, that yeah. one. Yes. Yes. I remember that one. And then the fourth one was an outdoor one, but it was a Hanok one. And we were open to having it in a Hanok, which at one point I was really for. I thought it'd be really cool to give like the traditional vibe. Um, but there was just no Hanok looking venues that we really liked. Uh-huh. And the one she sent us was, we were just like, mm, no. <laughs> so we chose to visit two from the list that she first gave us. These venues are not wedding halls. These kind of venues are called house weddings Mm. because they're not in a hall. They're standalone buildings, Mm -hmm. um, kind of like in the West West way, like you rent an actual venue out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the first one we went to was probably the biggest. I really liked it. Mm -hmm. Um, But I would say what I didn't like about it, it it just was almost too big. It could look empty. Yes. I Because I don't think we would have enough guests to fill it. Yes. But it was really nice. Like you had an, <clears throat> an open garden where you can have, you can eat there or you can have your ceremony there. They also had like this other side area as you can see, mm-hmm. which was more eating. Mm-hmm. There was a building in the back that you can use for um, bridal pictures, which is a tradition here in Korea. Mm-hmm. And then they had the building. Which is nice. It was very big. Really beautiful. But yeah, just too big, I think. Because we did not have that many guests. Mm -hmm. Um, But for this venue, we'll tell you the pricing. Obviously, we cannot give you the name. There's a venue renting fee. Mm -hmm. There is um, flower flower decoration fee. Mm -hmm. Right. There's a lot of other fees. Yes. (laughs) A lot. But the main one the main ones minus food we will tell you um so the venue renting fee this venue actually had two prices one for morning and one for night Mm -hmm. um even though it is not a wedding hall they don't and they don't have like one after another they do have two weddings a day so you can choose to have like a lunchtime wedding or a dinner time wedding Mm -hmm. and obviously we want dinner time because we want nobody after us we want to stay a little bit longer and party So for the dinner time uh, venue rental fee, it is 5.5 million won. Um, I don't know what that is in USD. We'll put the conversion on the screen. Mm-hmm. This one, they broke up like the decorations. And so the like sound systems and like speaker, mic and all of that yeah. was like 1.1 million. Mm-hmm. The flowers... Starting price is 5.5, and just, I'll tell you right off the bat, <laughs> it starts way higher than 5.5. Yeah. I don't know what why they say it starts at 5.5, it starts way higher. But, this is what they told us. Mm-hmm. And then they have, like, this kind of, like, 
they call it directing, which I think is like the setup. Mm-hmm. It's the person like who sets it all up, placement and blah yeah. blah blah blah, and all this. this like how it's gonna run. Mm-hmm. Then that fee was two point two million. Mm-hmm. So the total just of the basic decoration and venue rental. Quick math. Fourteen point three million won. That's base, <laughs> which is Seven. so expensive. Okay, the second venue we went to, which was was like a smaller one, mm-hmm. and this one was actually the one that we kind of liked just yeah. from our searching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For the second one, I I liked it a lot. We liked it a lot. Obviously, we saw online. Um, there was like a front area and a back area, and you can also use the building. And yeah, just overall, it was a little bit smaller, but still gave that same vibe. Still outdoors. Yes. Very beautiful. So their afternoon venue fee is 3.8 million won. Mm-hmm. They don't have a fee for sound and music, but the flower fee starts at 3.5. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and the directing fee starts at 1. Point, the directing fee is 1.65. Um, so the total of this venue is 8.950. Um, but yeah, this one was a smaller venue, more fit for the amount of people we would have. So we saw these two first. We kind of were set on number two, but we felt like that was so fast. Like we chose <laughs> so fast. Only seen two venues. So we asked if we could see one more. Um, so our wedding planner found, gave us one more option. So we went to see this, our, the third venue. And this one was very, a little bit different. Mm-hmm. I kind of liked it. I liked yeah, the, I kind of liked it too. I liked the, I liked the buildings. I think, yeah, we could have had, it was set up. You could have party. Yeah. The courtyard, I think, was where I was not a big fan of. How to do ceremony and then the eating part it, how they just described the layout it would have been very divided mm-hmm. like if we did the ceremony in the courtyard then eating would be kind of split into two of the buildings because they had two buildings because mm-hmm. they can't fit all the guests in one of their buildings mm-hmm. but they can like open it up it was very beautiful but i just think there was like some fl- some flaws to it that just didn't really like I couldn't see it flow, right? Mm-hmm. That and I think the location. location Even though yes. the venue we did choose location is not a prime location in this sense. This one was really difficult to get to, I think. Yeah, it's like up. It was like up. in rural like it was just the location was not the best mm-hmm. in our opinion. But the I would I will say the guy though, very professional. Yes. I really liked how he presented it and everything compared to the other two, even though <laughs> we, <laughs> like, liked that place. we liked it a lot better. Uh-huh. I think they're popular, so they don't really have to put an effort. I think they're yes. very well sought after mm-hmm. because outdoor venues are not common. Mm-hmm. And that's a really, they're really beautiful venues. Mm-hmm. So they kind of can lack a little bit on like their presentation. Yeah. <laughs> like even the paper they gave you, I wish I could show you guys. It is so, it is a photocopy, but it's so fuzzy and so blurry. I'm like, you couldn't even print out a real one, fam? <laughs> like the original, just take a new one out. But this one, like the paper is nice. The yeah. guy was in a suit. He gave us business card. We knew almost all the pricing of everything. Uh-huh. We had like... He explained very well. Very well. We even saw the menu, mm-hmm. which the other venues, we won't know the menu until way later but anyway so the pricing of this one the rental fee is 3.3 didn't matter the time they didn't have like a difference in price the time and they didn't have like a separate sound fee it's just included in like the decoration and floral basic it's 7.7 but yeah that includes like the sound the decoration the like directing floral so the total, if we do the basics, is 11. So number one venue was the most expensive. The second one was the cheapest. And then the third one was the middle in between. Mm-hmm. And we ended up going with 
chose number two uh-huh. we really liked how it worked looked and it was the cheapest which is bomb it and it looks beautiful and it's not that expensive it is expensive trust me those base prices expensive. those base prices go up i don't know where where those base prices went but they are not there uh-huh. yeah that is pretty much where the beginning of our planning went yes we didn't really do much after that. It was a, a long time until we started doing other wedding stuff. We just had to do that very early because venues get booked very fast. Yes. And even the, the original day we wanted, oh. we went there. The day was available. Uh-huh. Okay, so we signed our papers the 15th of uh-huh. October. Uh-huh. And so luckily, we want our wedding to be on a weekend. The 14th of October is Saturday. We don't want a Sunday day. So we're like, okay, we can have it almost the exact same day as when we legally signed our papers. When we viewed the venue, it was available. After we viewed, like we said, we wanted to look at one more venue just to make sure that's the one we wanted. Mm -hmm. It was like maybe a week, maybe two weeks later. When we decided, we messaged, okay, we want it. We want this date. Sorry, booked. Because... Is after, like, uh, COVID nineteen. Yeah, that's right. Many people they study. So true. Yeah, get married and they normally like it's very like um, you can easily find like a year before. Uh uh-huh, a year before. But right now you have to find like a year and a half, half. a year before. Yeah, like we were over a year in cert- like we started way before, which is crazy, so crazy. But yeah, everything happens for a reason. Yep, I agree. That's right. I agree, Chad. Yeah. So yeah, that is all. If you have any questions about the differences, we plan to go talk about other differences in other videos when mm-hmm. we get to those things. But yeah, any questions, comments, you can leave them down below. We would love to answer them. And thank you all for watching. <laughs>